miss my phone. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to do a quick and easy holiday glam, something that you can throw together in 15 minutes or less. So if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching. I'm gonna start out with my brows using this brow contour. And along with that, I just have to use the spoolie on um, the precisely my brow, going in with the deeper shade. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is actually the first time I'm using this. So let's see what we're working with. The applicator is almost just like shape tape. It's very big, it has that same vibe. And then I'm just putting some translucent powder over the concealer to prevent creasing. So my thought process with the eyeshadow was we're gonna go very light on the eyes, heavy on the lips. I'm only gonna be using one color for the crease, one color for the lid, and then I'll do a smudge eyeliner. So it should be just three steps, very easy. I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. This has some really good shimmers in it. With my Morphe M573, I'm gonna be taking this color right here. And with my finger, I'm just gonna go into the shade Taurus. It's kind of a taupey, silvery, it's very pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean. And then after I apply this, we're just gonna smudge it out. My theory behind this is we can smudge this out into the shape that you want because, you know, every eye shape is different um, and a wing liner is hard and I don't believe that it's meant for everyone's eyes. My eye shape, I don't feel like it flatters very well. So I'm taking my Beige Cosmetics angled brush and I'm just gonna go over that and start pulling it out. And you can bring it out as far as you want because I'm going to clean this up with a makeup wipe. I'm actually going to take this brush to help kind of smoke it out. This is a Luxie 141 mini round. I got this in my BoxyCharm. I've never used it before, but these seem like really soft, nice brushes. Oh yeah, this is perfect. I mean, if you're not good at smoky eyes, this NYX pencil was so inexpensive. This is a great way to do it. I know it looks crazy now, but once I clean this up, voila. I mean, that literally took me five minutes tops. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the false lashes off camera, but first I'll show you which ones I'm using. These are the Lily Lashes in Hollywood Mink. I think they're dramatic, but we didn't do a lot of eyeshadow, so these are just great lashes, I love them. All right, lashes are on and I feel like I could just flutter away. These are huge. I forgot how big they are. But I feel like Lily lashes are just amazing and you can wear them up to like, I think it's over 30 times or something like that. And I just think they keep getting bigger and bigger and more full and longer. I mean, these touch the top of my eyelashes. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm gonna go in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I have never used this before. I kind of feel bad that I'm always using new stuff, but when else am I gonna get to try it? It's hard when you have a three month old. So I'll go ahead and do one side with my brush, and if I like that, then I'll just finish my face, but if not, then I'll go in with my Beauty Blender. Oh, I hope this is the right color. I guess I should have tested that out, and that's probably too much. That is a lot. Don't use that much. I don't know, I think it looks pretty good with a brush, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish. Quick story, me and my husband saw Drew Barrymore and her kids, I think, maybe it was Gwyneth Paltrow too, I cannot remember, and we were in Central Park and they were playing and it was the cutest thing ever. Those kids are really cute. Yeah, I think it was Gwyneth Paltrow because in one of her kids named Apple or something. Like, how do you forget that? This leaves such a healthy finish, but if you have oily skin, I don't know if you're gonna like this or not. I don't know how it wears throughout the day, so sorry. For concealer, I'll take my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. When did 
it out, blend it out. Oh, I love this concealer. When they said this was a dupe for Shape Tape, they weren't lying. I really like this. That's a really pretty finish. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder. I have not used this one in a friggin' minute. By the way, it is so hard not to cuss on camera. I'm trying to keep it PG. Laura Mercier is like the queen of translucent powder. I mean, it is a little drying sometimes. I haven't used this in months. I forgot how much I like it. Next, I'm going with the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I really like this one. It's just really easy to use. I'm not really contouring today. Just bronzing, giving your skin some color. And with my Morphe E4, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Blush Palette. I know it looks orange, but I really like this peachy color for my skin. And it has the tiniest sheen. Looking like Rudolph. I forget how freaking pigmented it is. I'm gonna give my face a quick spray of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And we are going in with the Anastasia Amrezy. <sighs> uh, just get on my cheeks. I feel like my lighting does not give this highlighter justice. go in with any eyeshadow on my under eyes. I'm just going to keep it bare and I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Almost forgot to do my inner corner highlight. I'm just going to take a little bit. Brow bone. And I think I want to go in with just a little bit of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in the inner corner just to give it a little pop. Y'all know me and glitter. That's cute. Why not? Just adds a little something. Last but not least, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible matte lipstick. I'm telling you, I almost don't want to put this on because it's nighttime and I'm just going to take it right off. But oh my gosh, it's so hard to get off. It stays like this is the best red I've ever used in my entire life. I mean, do you see that? It's like paint. Oh my gosh. It looks glossy now, but it does dry down. Now that is some precision work. Oh my gosh. I don't think it'll ever be perfect. Ah, uh, no! I am done. I swear that took me probably 20 minutes because I'm filming and doing stuff, but that should take you 15 minutes or less. This was so easy. I really hope y'all enjoyed this and let me know if you try this look. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends. I hope y'all have a happy holidays. I love y'all and I'll see y'all again. Bye. She gonna fly away. These lashes. Mm -hmm.